Greetings, greetings, good people. Bald Ted Harrison here. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for visiting with me. I hope you do choose to stay. And if you are returning, welcome back. I do appreciate your support. So coming on today to give you guys a very general, re general reading, but you will know if the reading resonates with you um, immediately by the title because I did get an opportunity to do a very deep meditation on the cards. And I got the word um, boredom. Okay, I got the word boredom. So I did, I pulled a few cards before um, I decided to, because normally I'll just hear the word and then go ahead and start the video and then pull from there. But I actually had an opportunity to pull two or three, it was three cards that let me know what they meant when they gave me the word boredom. So um, I think I am speaking to people who are going back into bad habits or routines or negative behaviors because of boredom, okay? But we're going to pull a few cards to get very specific and very detailed on, you know, what exactly Spirit was showing me as they channeled that word to me and then showed me the few cards, okay? So without further ado, I want to go ahead and call in the spirit of sweet truth, sweet relevancy. And I always like to say the word sweet throughout my prayers because I don't ever want um, anything other than sweet spirits to come through and give me messages for us, right? So again, sweet truth, sweet honesty, sweet relevancy, sweet accuracy, information, okay, that is relevant to our highest and greatest vibration, okay? So that's who's coming in and giving me um, insight, etherically with this reading okay so thank you for trusting me spirit as a as a true vessel as an honest vessel to channel your message through Shay. Shay. okay I'm going to take every last one of these. For those of you who are new to the channel, I do not read reversals unless I'm guided to. So I see the boredom already. You know, we know that the devil is the temptation card. Okay. So I knew that I was speaking to someone who, or some, some, some bodies that uh, are being tempted to do things out of boredom. So that's, that's not a coincidence that the devil card came out. Okay. Not a coincidence. I knew spirit, I knew spirit was telling me something when they gave me the word boredom. So queen of swords, six of, sw uh, six of swords, page of cups, the devil, and then I'm going to pull two, two more cards. Okay. But I wanted to stop and show that the devil card did come out. So the devil is here, honey. The devil is here and the devil is in the detail. So we always know that behind, um, everything the root of something is always <laughs> there's always something lurking in the roots that causes people to operate uh in the manner that they do so we're going to break it down and hopefully i'll be able to give you some information that will oh okay goodness some information that will um help cast that devil energy out and away from you okay so the death card, we, we know that that means transformation, okay? That's all. And the emperor, okay? So your last three cards being the being major arcanas, this is, this is a very potent message, okay? Very, very potent message. So first and foremost, somebody, um, whoever I'm talking to, you're very powerful. Very powerful in your actions, okay? I don't think that you give a lot of thought to what you do, you just do, okay? You're very action-oriented, you're very detail-oriented, and you're very um, possibly impulsive, okay? You don't think things through. Now, I think a lot of times when you move like that, you end up having to backtrack and go back to the drawing board on a regular basis, like, ah, why did I do that? Ah, why did I make that decision? But you ask yourself those questions after the fact, when you ask, when you actually should be asking yourself those questions before you make the action at all, right? But that impulsivity, that 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 aggression that some of you may have, because not all of you are aggressive, but some of you are very aggressive, so you don't necessarily take the time out to convene with yourself when you have thoughts of doing things that may backfire, right? So <clears throat> I'm 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 hearing clearly. 
<laughs> to take a look at your surroundings. There's something in your, there's something that, there's a reason that you operate like this. And, and, and whatever or whoever that person, place, or thing is, they're in your immediate surrounding, okay? Um, I believe that you're acting out like this or you you're you are exhibiting these behaviors because there is something around you or someone around you that you're that keeps that makes you tempted to do things or or makes you um uh, it just I don't know I don't I don't really know the uh, another word to use other than you feel um triggered and tempted to do things that's not necessarily for your highest and greatest good okay okay so yes there's going to be or needs to be a transformation in your mind pro in your mind uh set okay because you keep on giving in to this demonic energy Okay, and listen, the word demonic just means a person, a human being who is operating in their absolute lowest self. Okay, that's what devil energy, demon energy is. It is somebody who has zero connection to the higher self, zero connection to their heart space. They're operating strictly and directly from the under part of their root chakra okay and a lot of times when when a person is operating like this it does make them do devious um things it does make people operate in a very um demonic behavior okay and that can be extreme or it can be minute okay it really just depends on the person but as far as you who's resonating with this reading i think that it's causing you it's causing you to be mischievous when you're bored okay um when you're when you're bored and you, you have y'all heard the sir the little saying that uh idle time is the devil's workshop well ta-da this really is exactly what this is saying idle time is the devil's devil's workshop you need to go find something to do with yourself okay you need to go find some things that are a little more productive okay some things that are a little more uh positive you know, you need to invest in some things that would help you rise to your greatest and highest self because whoever I'm speaking to, you're operating in a very low energy. And, 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 and again, I did, I could tell that you're doing this based on a person, place or thing around you. So it's almost like something's controlling you. And you don't think that that's what it is. You may now connect the dots if you're listening to this reading and be like, oh my God, that, that situation is controlling me or that person is controlling me or that behavior is controlling me. But I'm telling you, it's controlling you. It has a lot of power over you, okay? Matter of fact, um, it's so powerful that it can it's convincing you that you are the one that's making the decisions to do this now from a physical standpoint yes you are the one that's doing it but i believe in your mind space it's that devil on the shoulder energy whispering in your ear at your most vulnerable times at your most weakest times. some of y'all are battling depression okay and that's one of them that's one of the main times that temptation energy devil energy sneaks in right is when we are at our weakest we're not able to fight that voice we're not able to you know shove away the whisper we're not able to cast um um negative thoughts away not easily anyway you know we we all have negative thoughts no matter how high you're vibrating okay negative thoughts because thoughts are just like birds they they come and go they fly uh, but some people aren't able to let them flow. Some people actually hold on to them and catch them, you know, versus letting them go. They're fleeting. OK, it's energy in motion. So you just let it go. You don't you don't hold on to it. You don't harbor it. You don't fall down by the wayside every time a, a bad thought comes. You let it go because right behind the bad thought normally comes a good thought. And that's the one you want to cleave to. Right. But when you are at your weakest, you're not able to. Um, do that okay you fall victim to the uh the bad thoughts and then the bad thoughts because what a man thinketh so it is so you turn your thoughts into action and that's what i'm seeing somebody doing okay you're putting a lot of energy into turning things that you should not be doing into action and it's manifesting and it's breaking you it's breaking you down okay it's breaking you down and again there is someone something or somewhere that you are around that's aiding to you 
acting out like this, okay? So let me tell you something, because before you can tap your power again, and I'm going to pull a card because I can feel that there's an energy that's supposed to go right here, right in the middle from this death card to this emperor card, okay? I believe there's something going on in this space because keep, you, you know, keep in mind, from a scientific standpoint, all space is taken up. There is no such thing as an empty space. Something is in every crevice, every crack, every uh, every space. So there's something taking place right here that's stopping you from, from moving in this energy right here. Okay? Um, until I pull this energy, what's happening is everything that you got going on is taking power from you. Okay, all of this, if, if y'all can see it, I'm going to turn it around a little bit. All of this is the energy that's working against you. This temptation, this devil energy, this low vibrational energy, this, temp, this, this tempting energy, okay, is um, taking over you. Okay, it's taking over you. It's eating your power. It's eating your ability to even attempt to try to transform and transmute and transcend, right? It's, 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 it's overpowering you. OK, but spirits showed me that I need to pull another card because you can separate yourself from this. So I think what I'm hearing is a bridge. There needs to be a bridge. A, I need to bridge this gap with another card. So let's let's go. Show me clearly. And thank you, spirit. Ooh, show me clearly. The Knight of Pentacles. OK, OK, OK. Ah, I say I hear it. Take your time. Take your time. There, there's some stuff. Listen. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. Okay. Thank you, Spirit, for guiding the, the, the correct words so they can hear what I'm hearing. You're not putting in any effort or any work to become your highest and greatest self. Something has you by the balls, in other words, okay? And you've not taken any time out to service yourself. It's almost like when people drive with that uh, oil light on in their car. Instead of stopping and getting the oil changed, you just keep driving and driving and driving and driving and driving and driving, driving it. Until one day you blow the heads because you should have stopped eight months ago and went to Valvoline or wherever you go to get your oil changed. Well, that's what you're doing. Whoever I'm talking to, that's what you're doing. You need to stop. You got some tune-up, some oil changes, some some things you need to do under the hood. Okay, you got some you got some things you you need to stop and service yourself because you are giving out so much of your energy to this devil energy, this devil behavior, this devil person, this devil place. Because some of for some of you, it's a place. For some of you, y'all are going somewhere that is absolutely opposite of your natural energy, but you're only doing it. You're only doing it because you, you're you're bored. And, and maybe for a few of you, you're doing it because you're hurt. So you maybe you don't know how to move past the pain. So you mask it by doing things. Maybe even doing people that you would not even normally give a second thought about, right? So if you are resonating with this message, please hit that like button, okay? Keep in mind it is a general reading and it won't be for everybody. Um, but if it is for you, then, you know, continue to listen and take heed, right? So we got to get this transformation popped off. We do. We absolutely have to get this transformation popped off. Um... I would love to see the hermit card come out for you, you know, but whether it does or doesn't, I already know that one of the things that you're going to have to do is go into hermit mode, okay? Now, for some of you who are not um, well-versed in tarot, uh, the hermit um, energy means somebody who is uh, taking a hiatus, okay? And they're tapping in spiritually, they're tapping in or religiously, depends on, you know, what your path is, but you're taking time to feed your soul, okay? Um, you're taking time to learn some... Um, you're taking time to give yourself light because right now, I believe who I'm talking to, you're moving in complete darkness and it's not the good darkness. It's the bad darkness. OK, it's the low vibrating darkness like you're going through a very swampy time. You're going through the wilderness. OK, but you don't have to. OK, or maybe 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 
you felt like you had to and you have not yet realized that you can get up, right? You don't have to stay in that area. You can actually get up, get up and walk away from that area, walk away from those people, walk away from that person, walk away from that behavior, walk away from that habit, walk away from that addiction, okay? So, um, but yes, I'm feeling hermit energy, like you are going to have to take some time out, come off of social media, come out of the streets, uh, come out of somebody's bed, come out of drinking, come out of smoking, you know, there's some things that you're going to have to come out of because you can't hear what your spirit or what your God or whatever you work with, you can't hear anything that they're saying right now in that low vibrational darkness that you're in, okay? And every time you... <sighs> If you are hearing something, it's the voice, it's the it's the it's the devil's voice because it keeps leading you back to people, places, things, and behaviors that you need to let go uh, or that you need to transmute. Okay, but unfortunately, at this very moment, you're not in alignment with doing that, so you keep giving in to this devil energy. Okay, so yep, definitely going to have to take some time out and listen, nobody's going to come and do this for you. That's 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 one thing that humans have become um, so codependent upon thinking that somebody's coming to rescue you. Listen, there is no savior. You are your own savior. Okay, just like you got yourself in this mess. You got the power to get yourself out of this mess. No one's coming to save you. And the reason I said that is. Your your resolution and your solution is going into solitude and asking your higher self the way out of this mess. But if you don't go in there and get it, then it won't get done. Nobody's going to nobody's going to say, come here, let me talk to you. I need to let you know some stuff and then I'm here for you. If you none of that. Other people got their lives going on, so nobody's going to sit you down. Nobody has time to sit somebody else down and walk them through their darkness. What people will do is vibrationally and energetically uh, um, send love and, and light and peace and, 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 and understanding your way. You know, for when I pray for my people, my family members, my loved ones, or anybody that I deem worthy of me praying for, I always send them light and insight and foresight and even hindsight but more than anything insight because that's what's needed okay to um filter through this realm okay to navigate this 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 dimension we're in okay so let's keep going thank you and show me more okay. eight of cups page of swords So <clears throat> I believe that people have already been probably telling you this. This is not anything new. This reading is probably confirmation for you because I can tell that I'm not the only person that has said something to you about this, something similar. Other people have come to you and said something similar, okay? And maybe they said it in a way that you didn't receive it well or maybe at the time you didn't want to hear it. And a lot of people be in denial, okay? A lot of people be in denial, um, also a spirit is telling me, I say that when you are in the, when you are depressed, you will most certainly not hear, um, the voice of God, even if God uses a person to send that message through. Okay. So that is another form of denial. You won't be able to, you, you won't hear a person telling you what's for your greatest good when you are, um, battling depression. Okay. So again, there, there are people around you um, who, and if they have not, if for some odd reason, you're one of those people that says, no, nobody has ever told me this. I'm new to what you're saying. And I thought my life was hunkadory and great. I didn't know I was moving in this low darkness energy and giving in to darkness and, and bad behaviors. Okay. If, if for some reason you never felt that you didn't know that's what you were doing. Well, spirit is saying, take this message as the message. Okay. Take this reading as the message or there may be someone coming in after you hearing this reading that is going to tell you look i've been wanting to talk to you about some of the things that i've been seeing you do and out of love i just feel like i need to share some information with you about you know your path and what you're going through and how it's not 
positive okay so listen nobody wants to hear um people when they are already feeling down and out and bad and sad okay people people it's hard for people to hear truth when they are right in the middle of the wilderness okay but most times that's when you're going to hear exactly what needs to be said right so don't deny what someone is telling you, okay? Now, I'm not saying let people who don't even like you and you know what they're saying is not even for your highest or greatest good, no way, come and try to tell you about your life. That's not what I'm saying. But you know, we all know when we have people in our corner, okay, um, that's telling us stuff that we really need to hear and we just don't want to hear it, okay? So I believe that I'm speaking to somebody who um, that has either happened it is happening or will happen very soon. And it's going to make you make a decision. You're going to leave something, okay? You're definitely going to hear them. And it's going to make a change, okay? Whatever they're going to say to you is going to be exactly what needs to be said to make you leave a person, a place, a thing, or a behavior, okay? So I already see your resolve. I already see the remedy. And I already see the future for you, okay? Now, I also feel like, and this is another word I'm getting. Thank you, Spirit, for that. I'm hearing the word venture, okay? I'm hearing the word venture. So I don't know if I need to put adventure onto that or just leave it adventure, but I'm hearing the word venture. So I don't know if you're venturing off or if you are going to start a new venture or you're venturing or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Just take that word and, you know, maybe put it in your pocket. Maybe it's something that you need to hold on to. And maybe if you hear it in two or three weeks, you'll know that, ta-da, that's spirit speaking, right? Because a lot of times spirit will come to us through synchronicities like that. You will hear a word on Monday, and then by next Monday, you will have heard it again, and you know that that's not coincidence, right? That's confirmation. So, um, I do know that you will be leaving something, okay? You will be leaving something that is not, that will no longer be able to eat off you, Okay? And let me tell you something, this is not going to be an easy walk. So prepare yourself for that because a lot of times when we decide to leave stuff and, and, and in the very beginning, you know, the, the, the leaving of something is very bumpy. It can be stressful. It can be full of anxiety. It can be full of depression. It can be full of woes and o's, And that makes people turn around. That makes people turn around because they don't want to go through the task of building themselves a better situation. So they would rather go back to what they are used to. Okay. Now to um, go back to the word I heard earlier when I started the reading boredom. A lot of you got yourself in this situation because of one phone call that you made one night when you was bored. One thing you did one night when you was bored. One decision you made one day when you got bored. All of this hell has come upon you because of one thing you did, a decision that you made one day or one night when you were bored. Okay? So for some of you, this isn't even a pattern of behaviors it was a one time thing that has created a full blown um tsunami in your life okay so the same way you walked yourself into it <laughs> you got to be brave encouraged encouraged enough to walk yourself out of it okay now spirit is telling me to pull a few more cards thank you spirit and show me clearly Okay, absolutely, absolutely got to step out on blind faith. Absolutely got to step out on blind faith. There are some decisions that you're going to have to make once you leave a situation. And let me tell you something, it's not going to be easy because you're not going to know what to trust. You're not going to know which decision to make, okay? You're not going to know, should I go left or should I go right? But this is why, I oh, shame. This is why I knew that that hermit energy was going to be necessary. The only way you're going to know which decision to make is, 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 is if you go ahead and go into that hermit mode and you begin to hear the voice of God, okay? Your higher self is going to help you through this. But if you have no connection with your higher self because you've just been given in to darkness and lower, lower um, uh, frequencies and lower vibrations, this is going to be a very daunting situation for you you're going to be sitting there for hours and hours and hours okay because you won't have clarity because you can't go from 
dancing with the devil to having um to being centered in clarity you can't okay that that is a process so my this is my personal divine opinion if you're watching this reading and you're resonating with it and you know that i'm talking to you no better time than the right now okay the right now to cleanse yourself okay whatever it is that's got you stuck okay in that bad behavior on to that on that person at that place of doing that thing listen it's got to be a cold turkey situation you got to cut it off and cut it out run up out of that place right now okay <laughs> that's how you're going to um tap that 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 resolve that you need because just because you run out of the place don't mean that you're going to be freed from it you've already built up enough momentum that is going to follow you okay you're still going to uh because uh, uh, you're going to be magnetic you spend a lot of time around that person that place that thing that behavior so you're not going to be able to just cold turkey and cut yourself vibrationally away from it you might physically be able to move away from it but vibrationally energetically you're connected so it's going to take some time for you to uh cleanse yourself and wash yourself and 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 cut ties and get those layers off of you okay all of that will be um supported and 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 uh you will be easily assisted if you um take some time out and uh go within okay there's some spiritual nuggets some spiritual knowledge um some of you guys need to get in proverbs some of you guys need to get in psalms some of you guys need to go into meditation okay some of you guys need to chant you know some affirmations some of you are word warriors which means i know that you know exactly what to say to call in your power if you've just been giving your power away to say it thing okay so whichever whichever one of those categories you fit in you need to you need to do it okay and then for those of you who aren't really good with words you don't know what to say to god when you are down and out and and stressed out get in psalms get in proverbs okay you don't have to be a bible thumper or a christian or a super religious person to utilize the power and the magic of psalms and proverbs okay wash yourself clean with the words okay of god okay and this ain't about christianity this ain't even about jesus okay but there's power in that bible if you know how to use it and i'm telling you how to use it okay Ooh, let's see let's see is there more to this energy that okay do i see any give me just a second i'm trying to make sure i don't i didn't miss any um patterns or sequences I don't see a looping. Now, that's a good thing. Most times I can see when people are about to loop. That's why I'm, I, I told you right here that this is not going to be easy, but it might get heavy and bumpy and turbulent. And some, some of you are going to want to turn around and run back. But if you go ahead right now and begin to call in, well, for one, isolate yourself and then begin to call in spiritual knowledge, begin to call in enlightenment. Then when you get to this 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 level right here where it's time for you to make a decision about moving forward or going back it'll be easy for you to um call in the best and highest outcome for yourself okay because it, it, it for those of you who are not going to do the spiritual work when you get right here i guarantee you you're going to justify why you should do this and justify why you should do that which means you're not going to have any um, clarity on why you should do either. Okay? You're not going to have any clarity on why you should do either. You're not going to know what you're doing, to be honest. Okay? But once you're centered in clarity, um, that blind faith is going to answer your call. It's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Okay. Now, let me go ahead and move forward. Pull in another card four of wands okay well and i like this because what this lets me know that some of y'all are going to be moving from a home to a new home okay from a relationship to a new relationship um from one building to another building so there's movement 
And the movement is um, it's going to set a new compass. It's going to give you new direction. It's going, And then with new direction comes new opportunities. And somebody's not going to judge you either. I think the people, the places, the things that you're going to be around once you leave this and enter into this, you're, you don't have to worry about being judged, okay? I think they're going to be placed on your path specifically to help you uh, foundate into something new. Okay, I don't know if they're even going to care about your past or what you did or what you just came out of. I think they're going to just literally they're going to be placed on your path to help you um, harness and embrace whatever this new thing is, because the four of wands is something new. A lot of times it speaks on marriage. It speaks on relationships, but then it can also speak about new homes. Um, sometimes it speaks about um new jobs or maybe the same job and you get promoted to um another another position that's in a newer building so it can it can be it's, it's an elevation regardless right it's an elevation regardless so i do believe that um i just see a steady increase of um forward movement and i love that because again sometimes i see looping and when i when i see loopings in readings it's nothing that can be done about it because it's uh, uh, what, this is what i say when i see it if i see a looping in a reading you've already put so much energy and momentum in to whatever you got going on that it has to play itself out it's got a you got to cycle out of the energy that you've put out there but that's not what i'm seeing you just need to make a decision to move okay because this boredom that caused all of this from the get-go um and listen boredom de uh, boredom breeds depression so it ain't the fact that you was just bored you were bored and then and then depressed for some of y'all anxious for some of y'all stress so be all because of that boredom breeded all of this other stuff so it's, it's going to behoove you to take some time out and get your spiritual and your mental self in alignment, okay? Because we don't need this to happen again, right? We don't need this to happen. And then earlier when I said that little old school saying, I know y'all heard it before, that the, the idle time is the devil's workshop. Well, while you're in that hermit mode, find something to do. It is so much that you could be learning about yourself. Find a hobby, set some goals, manifest some stuff for yourself, okay? Because right now, whoever I am, whoever I am, well, yeah, I said it right, <laughs> whoever I am speaking to, um, whatever's got you depressed, whatever's got you anxious, whatever's got you stressed is, is, is removing you from feeling connected to your creativity. So you're not doing anything creative. You're not doing anything fun. All of your energy is being... Um, uh, guided to doing things that's not good for you okay it's that's not good for you whether it's a person place thing or a behavior so <sighs> your lonely bored um nights are going to go away but they're only going to go away when you decide to call in your higher self You've been shunning your higher self because your higher self is telling you it's some things you got to stop doing if you want me to walk with you, okay? And some of y'all have shunned your higher self and because you, you're like, nope, I'm not going to stop doing this. I'm not going to stop going to that place. I'm not going to stop. You literally told your higher self, God, what you're not going to do. And I've, I've said it once and I'll say it again and then I'm about to conclude this message. Your higher self can't live in your toxic body. So that decision, that's another representation of that. You got to make a decision to call in the light and let it lead or you stay in that darkness and, and continue to be pulled down in that quicksand. Okay? So make a decision, but just know that boredom for you is demonic and... Um, you got you got some work to do and be willing to do it this is your life right I, I just channeled your life but once i'm done with this this is not going to affect me but if it's if it's if you're resonating with it then it's affecting you put all of your energy into your life nobody else can save you and really nobody else can mess it up okay once you tap into your power and you realize who you are and the power that you really do have to create you will never, ever, ever let anything or anybody else control you once you realize that you've been relinquishing your power over to other things instead of 
you know, holding on to it and, and, and demanding things work out in your favor, right? All right. Well, I'm done. I conclude this message. If you've watched this in its entirety, then I thank you so very much. May you receive all that time back tenfold. And again, remember who you are. Stay away from boredom and say yes to leaving something and walking into your greatness. Okay. Namaste.